Hello, everybody. Welcome to Sunday afternoon on High Wire Improv. I am Brian. I'll be your host today. And I am very excited to have this uh, duo here. I am always excited to have this duo here. We uh, love seeing them perform on our uh, platform. So please, please, please welcome. Oh, let me get lined up here. Welcome to the High Wire stage, Summer Sand. So nice to be here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm Maggie. And I'm Johan. I'm from Belgium. And uh, Maggie's from the UK. And we are going to perform a little story. Do we want a suggestion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'd like to have one. Um, perhaps, Brian, can you, can you give us a word, please? Yes, uh, your word today is garden. 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 Yeah. Okay, I know what a garden is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sandra. Well, what? Sandra. What? Sandra. You, you never know what I discovered in the garden. I was digging a hole, a hole for the apple tree. And when I did that, I found a suitcase. A suitcase? A suitcase. Yeah. Here it is. Oh. <laughs> I wonder what's inside. Oh my god! Oh what is it? What is it, John? Gold bars. There's gold inside. One gold? two three four kilos. Four wow. kilos of gold. That's that's at least two hundred and forty thousand dollars. Twenty thousand dollars. We're rich. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. But who left that suitcase there? Mm. Look, um, when I started digging the hole, I, I noticed that the ground was loose. I'm pretty sure that suitcase is not was not long in the ground. I'm pretty sure of that. Someone buried it there recently. I think my imagination says there was a thief, they went into the bank, they took it out, and the police was after them, and then they, they saw our garden, and they thought, yeah, let's hide it here. So they're going to come back. <laughs> they are. We better, we better take it out and put, put it somewhere else before they find it. No, 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 we can't do that. Because if they come back and the gold is gone... What do you think they will do, huh? What they will knock on the back door, yeah? I, I will not sleep one day anymore, yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. We're in danger. Yeah. But yeah, but, 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 but we cannot. We cannot lose this opportunity of having so much money in our hands. John, please. We have to think of another another solution. What What should yeah. we do? What can we do? Well, I guess it can't harm to, to bring it inside for a night. Do you know what we can do with the gold? Oh, we could live for the rest of our lives with no work. And oh, we could, we could we have to stop working. Yeah, we have to stop. We can't stop working. You would be so good. Oh, my God. We could go all over the plains, all over the planet. We could go on a yacht. We could go to the sea, to the mountains. Sure. And we can fulfill our dream. Perhaps we can find a nice, nice little home in the south of Spain where it's so warm all the time. <laughs> and we can stay there for the rest of our lives as well. I mean, we talked about that so much, Sandra. Okay, let's, know, let's keep it inside and make a plan later on. I... Yeah. Uh, it's gone. The gold is gone. Why is the gold gone? I earned it, honestly. I went to the bank, I killed the guy, took the gold, and stuck a ticket in. Oh my God, it's gone. Hey, Mike. What happened? The gold is gone, Valerie. Oh, I hate it. I knew it. I knew it. I, knew it. Oh, I hate you. It's not people. Oh. 
But I thought it was a bad idea to put it on that garden. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You always say that I have bad ideas, yeah? You always say that. What are we going to do now? Mario? Now, but it was my idea in the first place to rob the bank. Wasn't that a good idea? So what we are going to do now, I will think about that. Now, you always want to have the bright ideas. And look what's happened with your bright ideas. Huh. I tell you what. That suitcase must be inside the house of the owners. We have to go inside the house. We have to... Have you got the gun? Have you got the, the gun? gun? Oh, no, yeah. the gun. You know, I, I love to pull the trigger. Do you remember what I did with the guard in the bank? No, I know, I know. So, the plan is, we go inside the house, but we pretend we are... Huh? I don't know. We pretend we are just selling some... some oh, yes. You know? Good. We are, we are selling vacuum cleaners. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Knock, 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 knock. Um, um, who is it? Uh, my name is Mike. I'm selling vacuum cleaners. Oh, <laughs> I said, hi, um, Mr. Mike. N n I'm afraid we don't need any vacuum cleaners today. So Can you say? You no? Oh, can you say that? You don't need vacuum cleaners. Everyone needs a vacuum cleaner. Are you dirty? Excuse me. I have the best prototype in my van. Excuse me. Don't shout at me. You are trespassing my property because you want to sell me something that I don't want. Okay? Be, be careful. Okay, tell me. Okay, tell me, sorry, tell me. sorry. Tell me. Sorry that I shouted. Very sorry. So, I, oh. I, I want to give you a deal, you know. I have that very nice vacuum cleaner in my van, which is there, parked. Just join me and have a look at it. And if you don't like it, huh? If you don't like it, you, you'll never see me again in the street, okay? Oh, I'm not going out. You bring it here. Bring it, bring it here. What? No. It's, it's, come here. Oh. What? What are you doing? What? <laughs> 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 Sandra? Sandra? Knock, knock. Sandra? Knock, knock, knock. Ring. Ding dong. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, I, I, I am here to sell you um, the latest project that we have. It's the most amazing vacuum cleaner that you have ever dreamed of. <laughs> uh, sorry, it's a bad moment. I'm, I, I know, we don't need a vacuum cleaner. Actually, I'm looking for my wife, Sandra. I, 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 I'm pretty worried. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Was that like a, a lady with... Yeah, I, I think I saw her going that way. She, she left the house... And she went that way with a gentleman. Uh, I, I think you'll find them. There's, there's a van back there. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go and find them there. I think, I think that's your wife. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, thanks for the help. Well, <laughs> may, may you come by the next time. I will buy, buy a vacuum cleaner from you. Oh, oh <laughs> so do you mind? I, excuse me. Do you mind if I can use your toilet, your bathroom for a while, for, for a moment? I really need it. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, it's a second door to the right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I went to the van. I was so worried about, about Sandra. <laughs> you know, we never separate as we're separated more than 24 hours we're always together and and this is so atypical from her to to disappear we, we 
we are married for, for, for 20 years already. Have all these dreams. We, uh, yeah. We are happy, I think. Um, we never had children. But yeah. Well, anyway, basically, I'm going to the farm. Ah! Oh. 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 that you? Let me. You're tied up. Hold on. Let me. Let me release you. Uh, let me release you. Uh. Oh. Oh. What are we doing here? Oh God. You know what? It was this man selling vacuum cleaners. I'm sure he's looking for the suitcase with gold. Because he said oh, he was selling it. Yeah, There's a woman, exactly the same story. She pointed me to the van. She said, you, you might be here. And then suddenly a big guy with a hood, he came and he pushed me in the van. It's terrible. But what oh. happened with us? <laughs> When I told you not to take the suitcase, we are in trouble now. What? Where did you leave it? You, I leave it. Uh, it's a place where I guess they never find it. It's, it's under the bed. Under the bed. Yeah. My God. Huh? Well, if, 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 I don't know. I don't know what will happen. Let's wait. We can't do it. We are locked up. Let's let's wait. Let's wait. Hmm. I've got it, <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> what a loser, yeah. They, they, they've hidden the suitcase under their bed. <laughs> what a stupid place to put it. <laughs> it's so <laughs> obvious. <laughs> yeah, everyone thinks that the stuff under the bed is the most securely hidden place, but it's not. <laughs> oh, oh, for God. us, yeah, for us, experienced thieves. It's just ah. like a piece of pie. <laughs> so, okay, we have the gold back, but we are left with a problem. Yes? Yeah, we are left with a big problem, Valerie. The two in the van have seen our faces. Yeah, we need to kill them. We have to kill them, of course. <laughs> I love the way you think so fast. I think so fast, but you know what? After we kill them, yeah. if we get if we get caught, we will definitely have a very long sentence in jail. Well, there you I, yeah, what? I killed already a guard, yeah. So you are my accomplice. So you know what that means. I'm I think we should waste them. We should drive the van to somewhere, kill them, burn the van down. Look, I'm your accomplice. In stealing the gold, but not, yeah. not in killing a human being. Huh? So you know. Don't tell you disappoint me. I thought we were a team. I thought we were not only friends, but, you know, professionals. What you are saying is not professional at all. They are a liability. They, they can say the police how we look like, you know. It will not take long before they find us then. I'm a thief, uh -huh. not, not a killer. I'm a thief, not a killer, not a murderer. So, how are you going to sort this out? Mm -hmm. I don't want to kill them. I bet you, the very last time, look, you don't have to do it. Huh? I will do it. I have my gun. Pop, pop. Between the eyes, and it's over. No one will miss him anyway. Huh? I do it. Okay, look, how about if, if we negotiate with them? I'll say, look, if you never say anything to the police about us, we could give you some of this money in possibly in a year or two years. Give them a share of, of, of you know, give them a promise. No. Look, go back to the van. Guard the van, and I will look around here in the house if there are not more valuables. Okay. And then 
I just saw it out. Okay. Mommy. Ring. Other stuff. Mm. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah. Just, just want to give you an opportunity. My partner has decided to kill you. I'm not on a killer, but I want to give you an, an opportunity. I, my, my, my deal is you do not talk to the police and, and I let you, and I let you go before, before, he, before he finds out. But, yeah, yeah. But you have to yeah. promise me. I promise you everything. Just, I mean, if you kill us, I mean, I mean I, I, no, I don't want to die. I promise you everything. I will not go to the police. I want to live. I want to enjoy life. How can I trust you? I, I swear it on, 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 the, on the head of my dog. No? You have to promise me don't know. Okay, maybe we can make a deal, a contract. I don't know. I just don't want to kill you, you understand? But I cannot risk you going to the police. Look like, like, you, like you're a killer. You can't. You can't. No, no I, I, sorry, you really can't trust me. I, I, I can make a contract, yeah? I work in a, in a law company. I make, I'm very good. At, I'm very good at making contracts. I, I make it, I write everything for you. I, I do everything. Please, let's go. I promise. I promise. Please. I'm risking everything. You know that? You know that? You believe that I am not a bad person. You're not a bad person. Why? Would, would you send me? Would you send me to the police if I leave you out? Would you? How would you feel? I'm saving your life. Feel grateful. I, I am saving your life, John. Think about it. Thank you. Thank you. In it, in it. Yeah, I trust in you. You trust in me? Yeah? I'm gone. Together with Sandra. <sighs> you left? You, you just released them? <laughs> Beverly is still alive and you release them? How could you do that, Valerie? That's against our code of honor. I'm not a killer. I'm not a killer. I'm not. I don't want to have that the rest of my days feeling guilty about terminating the life of two innocent people. They didn't do anything to us. They were just there. That was the garden where we put the suitcase. Yes, they saw the suitcase. They took it out. It's normal. It's just normal behavior for a human being. But they, they haven't threatened us. They, they haven't put a gun to us. Why kill them? Why terminate their lives? That's what we do. Uh, Valerie, that's what we do, and that's where we're good in. Now I can't sleep anymore just because of you. Look, what I... do you think they will do? They will go to the police and they will tell us. Oh, they will identify us on those books with pictures. I saw that on television. Look, I spoke, I spoke to, to John. I told him I was saving his life. I told him he, he needed to reflect on that. And that's the trust that that I wanted from him. He seems like he he appreciates the fact that I'm allowing him to stay alive. That 
One hour later. Both thieves are in the van on the road, chased by a police car. I told you so, I told you so. I know, I know, I know so stupid. I, I trusted someone thinking that I had saved his life. <laughs> I should have killed okay. him. I should have killed him. Yeah. Bastard, bastard. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I lose the control. Oh, oh. <laughs> this is the news. During a wild chase on the highway, the police was able to arrest two thieves. <sighs> Finally, the Bonnie and Clyde couple, as they <laughs> like to, <laughs> as they like to to talk about themselves, were finally arrested. Justice, justice will be there. Yeah. And that's the show. I thought so. That was great. <laughs> I love that, <laughs> folks. If you do improv and you want to do storytelling, watch these two. So fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, so just such a delight. I love, I love how you two work together. Thank so, you. Um, thanks, guys. Yeah. Thanks for having us too.